Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Monster Gens Era Saga episode. So, today we got the Chill Longs Chapter 11 a Dungeon. I'm going to be doing the hard part. I've already done the easy. Make sure to check it out. And I also went ahead and reacted to the story mode. But today we've got the hard part where we will be obtaining the Absolute Zero, one of the best obscure talents. And lots of you guys have mentioned on my uh, recent videos that this dungeon is pretty difficult and you want me to give it a try. So, I'm going to go ahead and do it. So, I hope you guys are excited. If you are, smash like button, also forget to share with the notifications on anyways let's go on and get started all right guys so as you guys can see we got the hard part but the thing is i'm gonna have to finish ranking up my monster in here because i think i'll change up some things here and there so i'm gonna go on and speed this up we got it to rank two just letting you guys know that my chill along will be rank two for this dungeon um so i recommend ranking up yours you can get it up to rank three of course if you have the legends pass uh which you should actually because i mean why not um so we got a rank two here and I have three speed runes. Let me see. Let me give in some relics since this is going to be difficult. Since uh, a lot of you guys have been saying it's going to be difficult. I'm going to go ahead and give it some um, relics, of course. Now, Hour of Decay, I don't need this. So let me see what I can actually give. We got the Spilling Fist. We got Vanishing Touch. Vanishing Touch will deal some damage there. Not 60k because it's not a rank 5, remember. Spirit Battery, on the other hand, is also helpful. Um, Soul Drag, I don't think we'll need that. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, I have Pain Distiller on my Jakuna High. So maybe I could give it like Mud Body or something. Or I could do Crystal Form. Crystal Form also works. So if you have that, you can go ahead and give it. I think I'm going to play with Crystal Form. Um, or I could do Sin Eater as well. But anyways, it's okay. Let's go ahead and enter this. Nope, that's the wrong one. Here we go. Alright, so I can't wait to get the Absolute Zero because I need that Oscar Talent. So we're going to go ahead and skip that because it's um, competitive. Uh, so here is the team that I'm using, guys. You guys can see I've got my attacker here. Um, you should have this attacker if you participate in the team race. If you don't have it, you can use a different attacker. But this is the one that I'm using since I got it from the race. Um, and it's pretty good. Why not? And I think I'll give it Unrelting Assault. Many of you guys should have Unrelting Assault. You could also do something else like Burning Hands. Burning Hands also works out. I think I'm going to do Benching Touch because I know lots of you guys don't have Unrelting Assault. So let me uh, take it easy here. If you have a rank 5 monster like Jakuna High or something, I recommend giving it Pain Distiller because Pain Distiller will actually help out a ton. So whenever one of your monsters have like any type of torture, it basically just kicks in and eliminates them. So you basically get a free kill on one of them. And I think there's like 2 or 3 uses on it. 3 uses. So basically you take down 3 monsters if it happens 3 times. So it is a huge help. I recommend giving that. Anyways, look at this. This is amazing. This is like the best part about uh, the hard part for Air Saga, like just spinning those because they have like the best rewards. So it's like really, really good. Anyways, here we go, note three. Let's see what we got. We're gonna just do auto because the first few will be super, super easy. So we can just do auto on them. Later on, it becomes more difficult. And of course, the two note thing, ah man. Um, so yeah, just run it full speed because later on you'll see lots of Megaton monsters. But if you want to run it as an attacker, just for the first 10 to 15 uh, notes, then go ahead and do so. Like, run Chirilong as an attacker, just for that. But later on, you'll need to run it as a supporter. So it can take in the first turn and remove Father Satisfact. There will be, like, Megaton monsters and stuff. So you'll need that. Uh, I also have an attacker on my side and, of course, also a supporter. One of the best supporters in the game. So I'm, I'm just chilling. I should be able to get this um, dungeon done. And I, I don't think I'll lose at all. <laughs> I doubt it. But anyways, we finished it off. Let's go ahead and spin this. Hopefully we get like a time relic. No. Give me a uh, lot of Yes. Nice, nice, nice. I like that. Alright, cool. So here's another cutscene. Let's get through this. We're going to go and skip this. There's 25 Lutum with two gold relic chests, guys. Two gold relic chests with Lutum. Okay, so it looks like some of these guys have uh, talents, I say. Like, Sense of Anakin just had the Spilling Fist, if I'm not mistaken. Do I need to heal? Nope. I don't. I'll just go on and charge up. And then I can use my AoE. And you're gonna die, so I'll just do... Auto. I'll continue doing auto. Alright, I think, yeah, Pain Disorder just kicked in. But I think it already did its damage. Is that why it didn't kick in? So just removed all the tortures on my monsters or something. 
Um, but anyways, we got two gold relic chests out of that, and also two on top of that, and 25 lunum. So all those lunums actually help out a ton. You can go on and use it towards any of your monsters, so, like you can rank them up. For example, if you want to rank up Chillalong, you can. Um, but here's the thing, guys. I recommend waiting for the chest, um, the chest seal, because those also help out a ton. Um, I'm talking about the token chests. The tokens that you get from the largest fast, and then you can go ahead and purchase those chests. So if you are planning on purchasing those, you can go ahead and wait a bit, and uh, you know, don't rank it up just yet. So purchase that first, and then if you really need to spend Ludum, ranking it up, if you haven't gotten it to max or whatever rank you want to, then go ahead and use your Ludum that you got from the dungeon. But looks like we got uh, a extra turner attacker here. All right, let me see who else. I use in here so you also got Kurai Kaj. Lots of you guys should have Kurai. So if you don't have, for example, um, the race monster Raijin, you can go ahead and use just use you know Kurai. Kurai is as good, literally. You can do the same exact thing, just give it like either Banishing Touch, Burning Hands, or even Unrolling Assault, and it'll be fine. You should be able to win it. For those of you that have Unrolling Assault, you can actually use that and just abuse it honestly because. You got yourself a supporter here with a shield long, right? So you'll basically trade disable the enemies if, if in case there are any ants beaters. And you can use that and just spam it. Oh, looks like one of my monsters died. Um, <laughs> my shield long died, but it's okay. Make sure to give it a talent. Uh, not talent, sorry. Um, a relic. So when it dies, it can come back. Alright, so give it like a revival asset. So that when it dies, it could come back and take more damage and stuff. And you can survive longer, of course. So we trade the table down, and then my supporter just dealt so much damage. Oh, there's Rasioko. Oh, he turned him into babies. But yeah, if you have um, Jakuna Hai, it's a huge help. Even at rank 3 or whatever rank it is, Jakuna Hai is a very, very um, good monster. Very helpful. Uh, not just that, but also, guys, uh, for the runes, you don't have to have like level 10 runes. Okay, you can even win this whole thing with like level 7s. So if you have level 7 runes, just go ahead and slap it in there. You can end up winning it with level 7s. Oh, I thought it started off with Megaton. I guess not. It's okay. No Megaton there, huh? I thought uh, Kenry would start off with that Megaton. Unfortunately not. Or fortunately not. I, I honestly don't care. I would have won either way. You're going to die. You're going to come back, right? I'm pretty sure you can hold an SN, right? So... Should be able to come back. Forgotten. Dealt more damage. Oh, okay, I guess not. It's alright. We'll take the one. And we got five gems out of that. That was good. That was a good one. Alright. Note 11. And then later on, we got Kenray. So I'm guessing that next Kenray will have um, Megatons. We can auto this one as well. Not a huge problem. Pretty, pretty easy. Look at that. Pain is also kicked in, you guys saw that. If you guys don't want to give Pain is still there on your Jakuna High, uh, you can just go with a different one. You don't have to give Pain is still, you know what I mean? So, let me see what I can do here. Uh, I'll just use my AoE. Alright, and I think you're possessed. Yeah, so I'm going to have to charge up. I'm glad you charged up. Did you just... What was that, triple damage? Or double damage that he just applied to himself? It was some type of damage boost. Oh, it's triple damage, okay. So it is stunned anyway, so we don't have to worry about it. And I guess I'll just attack you. Oh, you didn't come back. I'll just go ahead and apply two torches on you. And then I don't have to heal. I just need to eliminate you. There we go. So we ended up winning that as well, of course. Pretty, pretty easy. Uh, what are we going to get? Four silver relics. Four silver relics. That's what we're going to get. Okay. Here we go. Kenray. Is this going to be difficult? Um, we're about to find out. So it looks like it's not on the first wave. So I guess we can... We can go ahead and save our... Remove pause or status effect skill for now. Alright, let's go ahead and save that for now. Uh, now we can go ahead and attack. Just like that. And then Raijin, you can just use your AoE skill. Eliminate them. Oh, you came back. Okay. So I, remember, I gotta save my um, other skill. The remove positive side effect. Yep. Okay. So there is a Megaton. So we're going to go and remove positive side effect. Get an extra turn. And do I have my AOA trade disable? I should. 
There we go. And then we also applied some weaknesses to them. To charge up. Uh, single target, we might as well use it, right? We got rid of both tide, their supporter. Alright, I'm basically just stemming everything. Whatever that's being dealt to me, I spam it back because of my uh, skill mirror there. Yes, I'll just heal. And then I'll go ahead and eliminate. Oh, never mind. There's Megaton still there. Did he regain that Megaton? Because I'm pretty sure I removed it. Yeah, I think he regained it. Um, so maybe lots of you guys are having trouble on this one. But if you have a supporter like Dracuna, just continue spamming, you know, your heal skill. And look, Penisler just kicked in and eliminated. So I don't even have to do it myself, you know, like I didn't have to use any skills. The talent itself just kicked in and eliminated that monster. Um, so here we got uh, 25 Ludums and 4 Gold Relic Chests. We got Arsur, the Brave, Kahaku, and also Rasyoko. Alright, we might as well just apply the Elemental Weakness right away and eliminate them. Alright, that was pretty easy. Get rid of that dodge area. And we're gonna go and apply some torches. Oh, it didn't even land. Damn, look at that. <laughs> One tapped them all. Oh my goodness, okay. What are we gonna get out of this? Uh, gems or Ludum? I'll take the Ludum. Alright. So on top of that, we also got 25 extra Ludum and 4 gold relic chests. We're gonna go and skip that one. Looks like we got Soul Hugger on node 15 here. There's Noctum. And then there's the other two. Pain is still eliminated. Easy peasy. Oh, I thought my game crashed. That's what I say. <laughs> it didn't crash. We're good. Soul Faints. Yeah, I could just auto this and we'll win them. Later on, it's going to get a little more difficult. Like right now, it's not as difficult. Maybe the past battle was a little. The one with the extra turner and Kenray. It took some time. I had to do some thinking, um, but later on it's going to get slightly more difficult because there will be Megaton, more more Megaton monsters of course, like for example, I uh, forgot his name, that one Megaton monster, Malsteron, you know, the is going to be there and much more. Look there's an Ant Spader, so what you can do is start off with the trade stable right away, although I don't have any extra turners with me right now, you know, so I don't have to worry about that as much, um, but even I guess extra turners, if you have Rajin, you could just use your skill, the Antuition Hater one, and you can destroy. You could also run Raijin as a full speed support if you want. It works out because of the Antuition Hater. So you don't even need Strength Runes. You can deal quite a lot of damage, but in my opinion, I feel like it works best as, a, as an attacker. Because you already have your support here, right? You're going to be trade disabling, you're removing positive status effect. So just run it with Entrance and run as an attacker. We're going to do auto here. I don't know why AI keeps on healing when it doesn't even need it. Like, just charge. It's okay. You don't need the heal, just go ahead and charge up. It's not that difficult. We got 5 gems out of that, cool. There's an Octum right here. Probably going to be possessing, so... Yeah, okay, so yeah, Miserus, you're gonna start off with a status caster area sunburn. Um, so anti, here's the thing, you can keep the anti alive, because remember with Raijin. Okay, so here's what you can do, one tap, and we got the anti there, right? Look, anti hater, bam, 800k damage, 800k damage, a lot of damage, huh? Uh, let's just do this so that I can, um, oh, I should have used that against the one with the precision. It's okay, we're gonna end up beating this anyway. We're gonna end up beating that. Yep, look, my pain slur just kicked in and eliminated it, so we're good. We ended up winning that as well. Pretty simple. What are we gonna get out of this? Uh, four cell relics. I'll take those. I can use the silver relics um, towards ranking up, or not ranking up, but like leveling up my other relics, the ones I use. Game section. Okay, so what you can do is you can either remove positive status effect or you can try to disable them. Both works. If you have two more than one monster that can remove positive status effect, then first try to disable, and then right after you can do this. You could have also used the remove positive status effect and then gain an extra turn with the dragon, and then try to disable them. That would have also worked out, but it's okay. This also works. So here's what I'll do. 
I'm gonna keep the intubation monster alive. Because remember what we're gonna do is Intubation. Bam. Or you're gonna come back. Okay. It's completely fine. We're gonna win this. Reflect everything back because of the skill mirror talent. I love it. Okay. Uh we don't need to heal. We can just charge up. Do I have my extra or AoE skill? I don't. I'll just eliminate you. Ready to disable them. And then I think I'll just do auto. Should be able to win this easily. On auto. Oh, 2.85k coins from the maze. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So I'm going to have to activate more tickets now. Uh, but we got 10 Ludum. Nice. Alright, alright. And that was a node 18. Take a look at node 19. You got 25 Ludum in 6... Gold Relic Chest. Enter this because I want those rewards, honestly. I want those rewards and I want to move on. So, start off with the trade Disable. Pain Distiller eliminated one of them. I'll go ahead and eliminate the other. And then I'll hit you with this. Okay. We're going to do Forgotten, I guess. Natural Staff kicked in. We're going to apply some Tortures. Soul Faint. Gotta deal some damage, you know what I mean? Eliminate them all. You're going to come back and I'll hit you with this. I can get an extra turn and then eliminate you with my AoE skill, I guess. Uh, but that's another one. And let's go on and spend this. Hopefully we get something good. Uh, two gold relic chests. I'll take them. Honestly, everything that you get in there is good. Um, everything has a purpose. No 20. Looks like there's an ant vision monster, huh? Just try to disable it. Uh, I'll just do corrupted history. And I guess I'll just one tap you. Forgotten. And then I'll just do this. And finish you off. Was that? Oh, there's a second node. Okay. There is a second node. I thought it was the second node. <laughs> I really thought that was the second one. I'll charge up. And then bam. Eliminate them all. Okay, so now it's getting a little more difficult because their stats are higher. And also... Yeah, so stats are higher. That means that they're going to be slightly faster. You know what I mean? They're going to be slightly faster than the ones, the previous notes, basically. So, uh, here, if let's say level seven runes don't work for you, because th lots of these guys have like level eight runes, so you might want to switch to like some level eight runes, or you, you're going to have to come up with some uh, strategies. Okay. You're going to have to come up with strategies for those of you that are, um, let's say, having a hard time with this. So, we're going to do Forgotten. And then, I don't think I have my anyway, trade disable, I don't, okay. Pain this alert eliminated you. Um, triple damage? No, let's just go with this. Honestly, I haven't even used my triple damage this whole time at all, right? Like, you guys have seen it. I don't think I've used it. Maybe the AI have used it in the beginning, I don't remember, but... uh, I don't have to heal, so I'll just charge up. And I'll go ahead and get rid of the Purser. A torture dealer, whatever you want to call him. Are you serious? No, I just finished it. I swear, this always happens at least once. Like every time I do an air saga, I always crash at least once or more. Um, when I did the charmless air saga, I crashed at least seven, ten times. I don't know, like it's a lot. But, anyways, we won it for the second time and no crashes this time. Thank god. Uh, let's go ahead and get a reward and move on. So, we're gonna get four. Bronze Relic Chest. Or Silver, sorry. Or Silvers. What's the difference? I don't see a difference. <laughs> I'm going to be using it towards uh, ranking up my Diamonds and Obsidians anyway. Alright, so Node 23. Looks like there's a Mouse Run. So what you can do is start off with Forgotten. And then you can go on an AoE Trade Disable them if you want. And here I could just use my AoE skill to deal damage. And now it's my attack return. Okay, the good thing is that the Zombic doesn't come back after dying, so that's good. And also, try to stack up as many Tortures as possible. For the ones that have, like, the most life. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. No, I just made a mistake. It's okay. We're good. We'll be fine. I'll just go in and heal up. Do this. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, maybe I should have just attacked. It's okay. Pain this alert eliminate you. I'll go and get rid of the attacker. Forgotten. More damage. Uh, let's do this. 
And then I should have used my extra turn. It's okay. I ended up beating it anyway. Uh, maybe that was a little bit difficult. I don't know. What? No. 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 I can't do anything. My game is frozen now. Like, oh wait, I can fight, but it's going to tell me to restart after this game anyways, or after this battle. So I don't think that win counted at all. This game is terrible. Come on. You guys saw what just happened? This has happened before, like multiple times before, but the previous era sagas. Look, watch what happens after I win this. Just watch. It's gonna tell me to reload. This has happened so many times. There's an extra node. Great. I'm gonna beat it, but guess what? I won't even receive the win, and it's gonna tell me to reload the game. Funny thing is, I'm autoing this too. <laughs> Get rid of the resurrector. The AI isn't that smart. Alright, let me go on a heal. Oh no. My monster's gonna die. Might as well try to save all. You're gonna die. Are you gonna come back? Yep. I'll go ahead and get you. What? Are you serious? Did I have some type of uh, accuracy reduction or something? It doesn't matter. Look, even if I end up leaving this. What is going on with this game? No restart? Wait, did I just beat it? No, I don't think so, right? It's the same exact battle. <laughs> Literally the same exact node. Wow. I see how it is. Okay. Alright. So let's see what we could do here though. Um What? Why do I have 40 stamina? Zero zero? Wait, what? Nebula trap and ablation. I think it's because of those two. Alright, so you hit me with the zero damage and nightmares. It's okay. Let's just go ahead and use this round just so that we can charge up our stamina. And get ready for the next node. Okay, remember, what we need to do is get rid of the Resurrector. That's what we need to do. Can this slur eliminate you? I can heal or I can attack. Let's attack. Don't get to play it safe. We're good. Let's eliminate you. So the Resurrector is dead. Now we just have to worry about the Denier here. Or the Controller. Whatever you want to call it. Uh, So... Nice. Uh, I don't have to heal. Let's just attack. Let's do this. And then Raijin's turn next. Eliminate it. You're gonna die. And then I'm gonna have to eliminate that monster with these two. The remaining ones that I have. Uh, I can't. I'm gonna have to use Forgotten on you. And I'm gonna die? No? Okay, I'm still alive. Let's just apply the two soldiers on you. Here we go. Ooh, okay, all right, all right, all right. We're gonna go ahead and spend this and let's see what we get. We are going to get four silver relics out of that difficult battle. All right, so 25 Ludum and eight gold relic chests now. And it looks like there's a tank. Oh my gosh, this tank is gonna be annoying. Ooh, this team right here, man. This team right here is annoying itself. Look at this, just alone. Oh my goodness, it's okay. We're just gonna do soul faint. Uh, and then I can use my AoE skill. And then I'll let that monster die to tortures. If, never mind. Not gonna die to tortures, are you? Well, you have regen. Okay, you know what? I'll just eliminate you anyway. Okay, now this right here is a little difficult. Okay? So I can go on and try disable you guys. You're gonna freeze me. I'll go ahead and get... Okay, so give it a Resurrector as soon as possible. So, for example, Miserus, you gotta take down Miserus as soon as possible. Alright? Miserus will just continue resurrecting and continue healing. So, you have to eliminate Miserus. So, it looks like we just did that. And now we can go ahead and eliminate the Controller. Slash Denier. We're gonna do Forgotten. And we're gonna apply some Tortures. So, remember... Make sure to have a torture skill, like the two, the one that applies two tortures. Your lungs, uh, single target skill. Make sure to have that. I'm gonna go ahead and apply a shock. That's more torture. I'm gonna do this, and I guess we'll do ignoring bliss just for the damage. I could apply triple damage, or I could just attack, and then all the tortures will deal quite a lot of damage, over 200k, and eliminate it. So yeah, just try to apply as many tortures as possible. Okay, every torture helps. And we got two gold relic chests out of that. Cool. 25 bottom and eight gold relics. There's no 26 here. Alright. 
let's see we got dark cure we got Letterless and skelly so take down um skelly as soon as possible you don't need any resurrectors alive okay because if you do it's gonna be a pain so take down the resurrector as soon as possible the death countdown on the other hand is super annoying it keeps on kicking in and it's just super super annoying so we're gonna get rid of you this is not good oh my gosh this is just not good oh no am i really going to lose this in this layer kick then because the thing is i don't have any monsters that could remove um negative status effects i can only heal might as well just deal damage because i'm gonna die anyway there we go you're gonna come back oh my goodness okay so let's do forgotten this is perfect too we're gonna trade disable you guys anonymous gift and a solar kick then no dude this isn't gonna help no research all cooldown and gives 100 percent stamina my monster's dead no i think i'm gonna lose this one wait i don't know me no wait i think i have a chance you get a resurrection on your side that sucks it's really not good and i can't heal myself right now too But, oh, I had a uh, total accuracy reduction, I think, there. That's why it didn't work. Oh my gosh, I'm going to lose this. I'm actually going to lose this. No way. All right, we're going to have to come up with a play then. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking about doing this. So I have a strength turn now here. Two speed runes, right? So I'll be able to take on the first turn. And basically what I need to do is get rid of Letterless as soon as possible. Um, but here's the thing. I know Letterless can come back. That's why we're going to equip Arnolting Assault. Okay, so that's a strategy. I'm going to go ahead and give in Arnolting Assault to my supporter here. And we're basically going to use this as a sort of like an attacker. And I'm going to swap this with either Total Damage Reduction or Spiritual Veil. It doesn't matter which one, honestly. Uh, I'll just go with this one. Okay, so watch what I'm going to do. By taking the first turn, as you can see, my AoE skill, my AoE skill will actually eliminate them all. Because remember, I'm going to solve what can, eliminate them all. And I'm going to do Soul Faint, just like that. And now, I'll do something like this. UA kick then, dealt some damage. We're going to do Forgotten. Or I should have done Forgotten to the one with the status gets for life regen. I made a mistake. Um, do I have to trade disable them? Not really. Yeah, I really don't. Might as well just do it for the damage, huh? Let's just do it for the damage. Mud body kick then. Actually, never mind. The trade disable was actually a good play because this monster is immune to torture and now I have quicksand in them. Uh, you have total damage reduction, I see. So how about I give you... Or actually, instead of giving my attacker trouble damage, I'm going to give my support slash attacker trouble damage. So look at that. And now we can go ahead and remove other status effect, right? With this one. Because I know there's skill mirror there. We're going to do something like that. UA kicks in. And we'll win this. What a beautiful play. Huh. What a beautiful play. You guys have to smash like one for that. Um, it was pretty weird, but it, it was beautiful at the same time. Okay. So, no 27. I think this team should help me out. You know, with the green setup that I have right now. This should work for the rest of this um, thing. I'll do soul, soul faint. Just so that you die. I'll do this. We'll do this. I guess. Forgotten. Hey, we trade disable to them. Mud body kicks in. Become their better also mud body. Okay. So it looks like I got curse, antivirus. I can't apply any positive side effects, I see. Might as well just attack them. I mean you asked for it, right? We can go on a heal here. We'll do something like this. And let's apply some tortures to the attacker so that it dies. You wake kick then. Attacker, uh, what's his name? Attacker Jakuna High. Look at this. It worked out. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and spin this. Uh, what are we gonna get? We get 10 Ludum. Let's go. Alright, cool. And here is a No. 28, which basically, or technically, it is a skip, so. That saves us around, saves us some time. 
Now here's the final. Lord Nebato Solids and Skeleton. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Uh so. Hmm. Can we wait a little? Instead of attacking now? Shall we? Yeah, you know what? Let's just go ahead and charge up for now. We'll go ahead and trade the table them because I know there's anticipation. That's why I charged up. Oh, you regained it. Um, will this help? Target receives no damage from Thunder. Oh, yeah. How about we hit you with this? Burning Hands kicks in. <laughs> nice. And then Wings to Sword on top of that. And we'll just do this and you, both of you guys are dead. And I'm pretty sure there's a second node. Second wave. Okay, this one's going to be difficult here. So let's hope this actually works out. Unfortunately, I don't have my trade stable skill. Let's apply some tortures to you. I hope it works. It actually landed nice through the bulwark trade. Okay. Alfredo, you're going to be annoying with the damage section. Yep, I was expecting that. Uh, unfortunately, my attacker is dead, right? Yeah, my attacker is definitely dead. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Well, I'm going to heal a little. And the triple damage is technically for two turns. So if it could survive the attacks, be able to pull this off. Let's do something like this. What body kick then? Yeah, I just need my attacker to survive for one more turn. Which attacker you're asking? Um, that one. <laughs> uh, I could do something like this, but then it'll trigger anti. But you can deal zero damage because it's all damage reduction, but you're going to go with something like that. Okay, I'll hit you with something like that then. You're going to have to charge up. Right, Jen, it's all up to you, man. Don't die. No, you actually died. Oh, man. Are you serious? We were so close. Okay. Let's do the same exact thing, but different play. We're going to have to do something different, okay? So, here's the thing. Um, oh, yeah. We got to get rid of you. Wait the table. You hit me with Mega Possession, great. Oh my goodness, great, yeah, oh wow. Are you serious? That's not good at all. Let's do Soul Faint. Let's charge up because I don't want to waste my extra turns. Yeah, yeah, you know what? Let's charge up here. We're going to do something like this. We're going to apply some tortures to you. I'll go on a heal. We'll do more of this. Uh, and we'll just charge up. Please charge up. Oh, of course you attacked. I hate you. Rajan, I hate you, man. Let's do something like this. I'm dead. I, sh I don't think I should have used that. It's okay. It's okay, it's okay. Uh, this is not good. I made a bad play. Yeah, I just shouldn't have used that over there. On my monster. But, I mean, even if I did that, I don't think I would have won this. Um, I have a better play. I actually have a better play. Alright, so what we need is this. We need to swap the total damage reduction. Or not... Well, we could do total damage reduction, yeah. We're gonna swap it with the 50% um, self-heal. And the immune to torture. Okay, so watch this. We're gonna do the same exact play, which is this. Let's just hope you don't hit me with the total damage reduction. Or not total damage reduction, but the mega possession. And hopefully we also get lucky and uh, he doesn't end up attacking himself. Okay, so mega possession is... Please charge up. Of course you attack. Of course you attack, but it's okay. We'll just do spiritual. Let's do forgotten. And we'll apply some torture to you. And we could do this just so that it gives you an extra turn and also eliminate you. Charge up. Um, let's just charge up. Charge up again. Of course you attack. I keep getting unlucky with that. I don't know why he keeps hitting himself with that. It's just so annoying. Like, just stop. Please. Don't do it. Not that hard. Do not hit yourself. Okay. I could go with my triple damage, so the next turn I could deal quite a large damage. Or I could just... Yeah, yeah, you know what? Let's go with triple damage, because you're going to die from the tortures anyway. So let's do this. And this should be enough, right? Okay, cool. Now we just have to win this. This part right here. Okay, this is remove Father's Hatisfax. Why not? Let's do it. Deal some damage there too. Redisable them. 
So now I can freely get the extra turns and... Oh my gosh, my attacker is so, so dead. Yep, it is dead. It is actually dead. How do I win this, man? How do I win this? Let's do this. I should have just used this in the beginning. And now I got ulted. Great. That is just awesome. Love to see it. Okay, at least you don't come back. That's good. Hit me with corruption. What body kick then? Please heal. Thank you. Okay, cool. Okay, that's the only time I actually liked AI. We win this. We win this. Let's go. Okay. Yeah. Too early to give up. Don't ever give up. Ever. Don't, don't give up. <laughs> that is how you do it, ladies and gents. That right there is how you actually win this thing and beat it. Um, was it difficult? Yes, it was difficult. Okay. Um, but we got absolute zero. And honestly, that's all I needed. Now let's go ahead and go and, you know, just open it up. Because that's literally why I did this. Just to get the absolute zero, which is one of the best talents in my opinion. So, really good. Alright, cool. So, anyways, guys, I hope you found this video helpful and I hope you enjoyed it as well. Um, it was difficult beating it, but hey, it ended up working out at the end. Just had to come up with some strategies. But um, anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.